hardest thing about it is that when you kill one of these, if I can kill something that's called enchanted. Ah, oh, she got me again, damn it. I was, I was doing good there for a second. It slows you down by, I believe, 50%, so you're about half speed. You want to have at least a little bit of health when you kill her. If I can... Because, yeah, as a last-ditch move, also a dick move, dick-dish move, she, uh, she explodes with cold all around her. So it's just like a lasting memory. You will be cold, and it lasts for so damn long in this game. Is somebody else, like, did you cold me? I didn't think everything else around her. Oh, yellow. Oh, that's going to be awesome. I don't believe I have any more. Yeah, any more. What do you call them? Scrolls of Identify. But, oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. It's just as good as yellow was in the previous game, except better. Because there's no crap ones out there. I mean, there's going to be stuff that, right, the, the blue stuff is better. Don't get me wrong. But there's not going to be like, oh, there's a unique item, and all it does is increase its own durability. That's that's not that's not good. They really did fix that. Some of the best stuff about this game is the looting. I'll be honest, you get excited about picking up the loot. Sometimes more than actually killing stuff, getting the quests done, sometimes it feels like that the loot is actually what you're actually playing for in this game. But that yellow quilted armor should definitely help me. Uh, I'll probably end up equipping it. Ah, this place was huge. This place was a lot bigger than I had imagined it would be. Scr another uh, scroll town portal always appreciated. Ah, let me use one of those stamina potions. There we go. Now I can continue running. I knew they would come in handy eventually. They're cheap too. They're about twelve gold if you want to buy them. But those are the two that I've picked up. I don't like relying on them to be honest with you. Don't you run from me. Still haven't found any rings or amulets, but that's pretty standard for this game. You don't typically find them this early. They are some of the best equipments in the game. They have the best stat bonuses and that kind of stuff. And that's how long the, the stamina potion lasts. That's not very long, is it? But it does provide you with a free refill and some time when it doesn't... Um, it's not used, the stamina bar. So it's still pretty good, but not something that I would... You know, try to spend that much money doing. Oh, finally, we found the part where we go down to the second level. Uh, it's about time. It's about damn time. Alright, let's go to the cave level two. Now, down here, there's usually going to be an awesome treasure chest. And you'll know it's an awesome treasure chest because it's glowing. But these are usually the places where you find them. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, or enchanted. And once he dies, the aura goes away, so not nearly as good as some of the other stuff that we've had uh, in Diablo 1. But the aura enchanted, because he had a name, I didn't even catch the name, I killed him so damn fast. Oh, lightning enchant. Uh, this is the second worst thing in the game. Yeah, the uh, because every time you hit him, he shoots out that bolt of lightning in all directions. Well, technically there's like spots you can find that you can avoid it, but it's... Once the enemy moves, it, it, it seems like it, it, it always goes back to you. So I, I don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out, oh, if I stand right here, I can avoid it. But it goes out in all directions and it goes for a mile. Luckily, it was just the special. We will find normal enemies that do that, though, and that's when it starts to be a big problem, when there's a ton of them, and every time you hit them, they're bouncing lightning right back onto you. It's it's really a dick move. And that's how uh, Diablo becomes much, much more difficult. Is that? No. I thought I saw the glowy chest over there, but I did not. All right, straight... All right. Uh, we are level 6! Awesome! So we can use some of our skills now. Uh, I do need... Yes, I need 1 in Defiance. 
Um, do I need thorns? Uh, conviction? No, I don't need those. I did that. Uh, holy bolt. Yeah, I'm gonna need a holy bolt too. All right, so yeah, we still have one left over. Uh, that's that's pretty much all I'm gonna use those on right now. Right, let's go. Uh, really? Yeah, this build uh, that I'm going for, it's yeah, it's known as a hammer game. And we, we haven't gone over why it's called a hammer game yet, because I don't have that skill yet. It's called Blessed Hammer. And, uh, yeah, the guy that I, saw, that I saw said, Oh, you know, I don't really see why anybody would use this past level 5 or so. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it is awesome. Here's the glowy treasure chest. Look how awesome that is. I'm probably going to have to go back to town right there. Was there another one alive? There was. I knew it. You cannot be left alive. So we do have... Overburden. Yeah, I can't carry it. Out of room already. We got... Ooh, a normal healing potion. Those are going to be I better... Really? Can I carry the key? I, carry I can't even carry the key? Okay, this is crap. I already know that. Um, let's, let's identify this. Cold resist plus seven percent. Oh, this this is this is awesome. Screw that thing. All right. Uh, what what else can I do here to clear up a room? Doesn't look like there. I, I can really do that much to clear it up. Uh, and so then I'll be right back to pick up that leather armor. All right. Just need to pick that back up. Uh, what I did not mention, I don't believe, is that if you talk to Akara in town, she will heal you. So if, you, if you're going back to town, don't bother healing. There's no point because, well, she'll, she'll do it for free just by talking. You don't even need to, like, say anything. You just need to walk up and, and, and click on her and then she'll heal you. That's all it takes. So we are pretty much done here in the cave. Just need to mop up a few enemies, it looks like. I thought I had killed everything. Cracked buckler, ew. Uh, the, the gray stuff, I don't think I mentioned it. Gray stuff it can be one of two things in this game. It can either be ethereal, which means it can never be repaired, which means it's crap and, will, and doesn't even sell well, or it can be socketed. Now, socketed is awesome. Uh, I don't have anything here uh, to socket that I, I, I want to use for socketing. I have the, the jewels. The jewels can be used for socketing. I do not recommend using them for socketing right now. Because once you put things in uh, as a socket, then it pretty much can't be taken out. And I don't want to say it's gone because you are using it, but you you can't get it back pretty much. And there's certain things that you can do other things that you can do with the gems that I would recommend instead. Another town portal. Uh, the town portals, they automatically go into the tome of town portal, so it doesn't take up more room in the inventory. And keys, they, they go in stacks of 12. Nothing in those, really. Oh, I did uh, open up that locked chest, by the way. Back in the black mirror, right outside of town. It had, like, throwing knives that I grabbed just so I could get my money back for using the key on it. Oh, we've got another special! A uh, curse. Curse lowers your defense. Oh, I hate curse. Uh, it's not nearly as bad as some of the other stuff, though, but it does mean I'll have to use potion like I did there. Hi. Uh, oh, she dropped a guitar. Those, yeah, don't even bother picking those up. I don't care what color they are. It could be yellow. It could be what's known as gold. We haven't come across any gold things yet. But still, do not get those. Now, uh, there should be, I believe, two exits to the cold point. Uh, we did come across one there. I don't know which one that was. I'll have to check the next one um, when we get there, pretty much. Uh, because there's, uh, one leads to the burial planes. Yeah, more skillful. One leads to the burial planes where Blood Raven is, uh, but the, the burial planes is kind of, uh, a dead end, more or less. Y y there's no way out. It's a one-way 
in and out pretty much. So you have to find the other exit if you want to, you know, move on with the plot after Blood Raven. Um, but you know, it's it, it's good to go there. In fact, it is one of my favorite spots to power level in a multiplayer uh, <laughs> with a multiplayer character is Blood Raven uh, early on, and I'll show you why when we get there. Uh, not because I want to kill Blood Raven over and over, I mean, sh she is there to kill, and of course, as a boss, they always drop some of the best stuff. Uh, but really, uh, there's there's a couple other things that we can go to. Remind me to go over that when we get there. Because I might forget. Damn, there's a lot of Fallen. And they all do not want to fight me, apparently. They, they want to run away, they come back. I don't know who scripted the, the, the normal AI, but god, they did it in a very annoying way. Blue quilted armor! I probably won't use it. Ah, crap, I filled up that sh sash. Probably won't use it, but um, it's always good for selling the blue stuff. And you do want to get as much money as you can in this game, uh, because once you get, once you find something that you want, in this game, it'll eat up all of your money. And I, don't, I don't think I have that much money right now. Uh, I think I have about four or five thousand gold, and that's really nothing. Um, I could easily find one item here that'll sell for for more than that. Really, gold in this game. I know a lot of people swear that you don't need to get gold in this game. I say you do. And that's because you'll occasionally find something at the shop, and then once you leave town, uh, it, it's gone forever. So, you know, always check uh, if, you, if you have a, a, a sorcerer or anything like that. Always check with Akara because she might have something that is awesome for you. Oh! Fishy Bosh! <laughs> da, Fishy Bosh! And down he went. What the hell happened to him? He freaking exploded. But he exploded into stuff that I want, I think. Ooh, a hand axe. Now that I could use. Let me, let me go ahead and pick that up now. Let me clear this up. Can't pick up the leather armor right now. So I'll have to go back and cl clear some room in town. Ugh. I'm just taking out so many things here. Good lord. Did I miss... Yeah, I missed again. Still thinking about that leather armor down here. Yeah, you get a lot more items in this game than you do in Diablo 1. I don't know, you know, specifically what the drop rates are, but definitely higher one in this one. Higher drop rate. All right, let's just go back to the uh, the waypoint over here. You can see it on your map, yeah, right there. It's kind of yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> so let's go back to town real fast. So I don't know when I last left off in terms of of what I had equipped, but I definitely changed equipment this time. So now I have the hand axe. This is the yellow. Hand, hand axe that I found. Plus one to maximum damage, plus 11 to attack rating, six poison damage over two seconds, plus one to mana after each kill, and it repairs its damn self. And then I, I also got this uh, superior small shield, uh, basically more defense, higher chance to block, uh, and then a higher durability. Not that I really care about that. Uh, I think this these are new boots, uh, plus one to dexterity, uh, cold resist plus nine percent. These are definitely the same, that's definitely the same. Uh, this, uh, yeah, I showed that one on the screen, and then these, I believe, are the same. So that's my setup now. Oh, I love this thing, though. I don't see why. Poison damage is incredible. Uh, and this is our fu first uh, plus two, uh, plus two anything with each kill. Uh, those are really the best things out there, really. Uh, that's how you can get away with not having really any mana. Uh, like I said, mine is 22. I believe the the spell that I want to use um, uses two mana. You know what I mean? A and I'm not going to be leveling up my my mana at all. I'm gonna be staying where I am and 
in terms of that because I'm going to find stuff like this that will regen my mana per kill, per damage, that kind of stuff. It's really uh, one of the, I don't want to say a flaw of the game, but something that they kind of overlooked and that you can regen. You always want to pick up the magical items just in case, like that, plus one to charge bolt. The character specific stuff, I would always recommend it except for assassins. Except for assassins. And I, I think Amazons too. I, I think the game just is racist to be honest with you. Because in this game, uh, if you want to be an Amazon or an assassin, you have to be female. There's there's no other thing you can do. You can't be like a male uh, assassin or a female barbarian in this game. That's That's the next game. Not this one. I was worried. Uh, I, I did mention that I wanted to get this done before a release date. Those of you that haven't figured it out yet, that release date was Diablo 3. Now, I was worried for a while about that, but considering that they still haven't officially made a release date yet, and the day that I'm recording this, uh, it's pretty much the end of February. The, and really, they would have announced it by now if they were going to be hitting their uh, hitting their initial date, which was supposed to be uh, the end of the first quarter. They said first quarter 2012. The quarter ends at the end of March. They would announce it by now if they would hit the end of March. There are games that are being released in April that have officially announced a date. So, really, there's no there's no real hope, I think, at this point, of Diablo 3 being released in March. Now, I picked up a small charm here. Uh, those have a magic item on them. Oh, look at that, plus two to Clay Golem. That'll sell, that'll sell for a ton. Uh, these small charms, I don't have anything to identify it, so I'll, I'll, I'll see what it goes over. You're going to want to keep those in your inventory pretty much all the time. That You'll have a few, a few charms, uh, small, large, and grand, uh, in your inventory pretty much throughout the game. You just, you just always have them because they're going to give you some great, great stat boosts, that kind of thing. Pretty much everything that we've had, uh, you know, in terms of magic on the other stuff, that is all going to be on the, the charms as well. They could also be on uh, jewels. We haven't gotten a jewel yet. I'm very disappointed about that, actually. Because jewels are the only thing that I feel comfortable socketing onto uh, onto anything right now. But we haven't gotten we haven't gotten a jewel yet. I believe almost all jewels are going to be blue. I haven't it's rare to find anything other than that. We have found the second exit to the Cold Plains down here. Which one does this go to? It either goes to the Burial Grounds or... I can't remember the other one. It does go to the Burial Grounds. This holy place has been desecrated. So I picked right. Alright. So now it's time to kill Blood Raven. But we'll take care of that next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this these parts of Diablo 2. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined as always by Baller Scuba. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.